Oh my god, guys. I'm trying to fix this camera since 10 minutes. I think that's okay. <laughs> I didn't chew for so long, but anyway. Welcome back to Selena Secret Shauna. I'm so excited to like shoot this video. It's finally here today, it's finally here because, you know, I told you guys about, about me having surgery and stuff, so the day is finally here, or it's almost here. I'm flying out to Turkey tomorrow morning. And first and foremost, I'm not here to advertise anything, plastic surgery, whatever, whatever, whatever. Do what you want to do and do what you need to do. Don't let no one tell you you can't do this or don't do this. Do what makes you comfortable and that's the reason why I'm doing it because I'm not comfortable in my skin. You always gonna have people that gonna talk their shit. I've heard so many things I've heard already that I'm a copycat, that I'm just doing it because my friend was doing it back in April when I went with her. Stuff like that. I don't care. Yet, you're still here watching this video. But it's okay. Like, I don't mind. Anyway, I'm, uh, I wanted to start off this video because there's so much things that you actually need to buy. And I didn't realize how much it is before you go into surgery. And it's like little stuff that you almost don't think about. And okay, then the next thing um, I started to take... Um, is this OptiWoman. It's called OptiWoman. It is a bunch of vitamins all in one. So I also bought these off Amazon and um, I'm taking these every day. And I also take collagen. I don't know if you can see that. Collagen. You can get these from a normal drugstore. Well, here in Germany, you can get these from a normal drugstore. Or you can also order these off Amazon, which I did. Right. Um, what else? Simple things, but baby wipes. Buy baby wipes. These are going to be your best friends since you're not allowed to shower for the first two days or something. I also got um, hemp oil. Is to reduce the swelling so you just um, after surgery you just put like two drops in your water and you drink it every day it helps to reduce the swelling I bought a decontamination wash lotion if I'm able to shower so that nothing gets into my scar or whatever <laughs> now this is gonna be funny so I ordered these off Amazon and my sister already had her surgery last week, I believe, sis. Shout out to you. Um, and she gave me the tip of buying these. It looks weird. It looks funny. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I mean, I know how I'm going to use it, but I don't know if it works. These are, I don't know how you call it, urinators? I don't even know how you call it. Anyway, she told me that after surgery, especially me having a tummy tuck, I'm pretty sure I cannot sit down on the toilet, so I have to use these. And she said, these saved her life, like really. And yeah, um, it, come, it came in a pack of four, so I have four of these. And they're washable, and you can disinfect them without any issues, so. Definitely make sure you grab these if you have tummy tuck or some stuff like this. I don't think you need it if you have lipo. You can easily sit down, whatever. Okay. I also bought some um, puppy sheets. Puppy training sheets, you know. Or, I don't, yeah, you call it puppy training sheets. And, I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, I bought these, you know, after surgery. You probably were leaking and stuff. And once you get back to the hotel, you don't want to mess up the hotel room, the hotel bed, whatever. So I bought these just in case so I can um, put it on my bed and everything. So I will put all the things um, in the description box, the things that the things that I bought from um, Amazon. And then you can just check them out and buy them. 
yeah and i have to say this this is like i'm trying to do like a video which is super realistic and is raw footage because i know these people they go have their tummy tongues they liposuction breast augmentation reduction whatever they do whatever whatever and they just come back and act like everything is normal no i want you to see what it actually is to go through all this i want you to see even when i wake up from anesthesia whatever well i try to do and yeah so i'm gonna take y'all with me and i'll see y'all guys tomorrow Hello, hello. I made it to Istanbul. Finally, Atlantic, got my baggage and everything. Um, so now I'm trying to find this driver that's supposed to pick me up. I checked into the hotel room. I have to check out tomorrow. Then I'm gonna go to the hospital. I stay at the hospital for two nights, and then I come back to the hospital uh, to the um, uh, to the hotel, which is stupid, but whatever. So that is the plan so far. This is the information I have. I still don't know what time my surgery is or whatever, but they will let me know as soon as possible. And then today, I don't really have anything planned, but just go out to eat somewhere because I love, love Turkish food. It's so good. So I'm going to have some good Turkish food and then come back to the hotel and get ready for tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. It's it's crazy, it's crazy. Yo, yeah, hear this? Oh, they changed the music, damn. I was so confused. There's like a high class restaurant, whatever. They was playing Bobby Schmider the whole time. Anyway, I'm at this restaurant right now, trying to get my last supper before tomorrow. And then I think I will walk around a little bit and then go back to the hotel because I gotta be up early tomorrow, I think around seven or something. They're gonna pick me up. And yeah, that's it, that's it, and that's all. So I'm done with the dinner, currently enjoying Istanbul by night. Oh, you can see it perfectly. That's the big mosque, the Hagia Sophia, I believe. And then there's an, other one to the other side. Let me turn this camera. Or not. Either way, let me turn around so you then you can see it in the back. And there's a lot of people out here. And it's pretty windy today. So I don't know. Woo! Just walking around. Trying to see something from this city before I can't do anything anymore. I think y'all have a better view now. It's good, and that's the other one. Beautiful, it looks beautiful by night. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is today. Um, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep too good because I was so excited and everything. So I'm getting picked up in like the next 15 minutes and then go to the clinic and yeah, have my consultation with the doctor. Funny thing is, my um, doctor is like a well known doctor here in Turkey. And yeah, but I'm nearly shitting my pants and I'm at the point where I'm saying, hey, what the fuck are you doing, Shauna? Like, what is in your head that you go to a foreign country and you get surgery? Like, this is the one side of me thinking and the other side of me thinking is, yo, you're getting rid of that little fupa and you're going to have perky tits. So... I don't know. I'm I'm really, 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 really scared, and I'm really excited at the same time. I don't feel too good. Um, I had to pack for the clinic for the next two days since I'm staying there for two days. 
Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm getting picked up. Um, now I'm about to go down to the lobby and sit there and wait for them to pick me up. And then once I get to the clinic, I'll show you the room and everything. Oh, and I forgot to mention for the, the hotel is like a regular and normal hotel room. Like there's nothing much to expect. You have a bed, you have a bathroom, TV, everything, mini bar, whatever. But one thing that I say um, I don't like is Turkish people smoke fucking cigarettes everywhere and it's disgusting. They smoke in their rooms, you can smell it. They smoke in the taxis, in the cabs, in the cars, and you can smell it. It's really disgusting. Like, it's, I don't know. And everything smells like cigarettes. And I'm really annoyed, but I'm about to go to the reception and find out if they have, um... A non smoking room because I can't do it. Hey, I made it to the clinic. Um, it's a normal clinic, it's clean. I mean, it looks clean. People are working here, everything looks normal so far. It's a small room that I have. I have a TV and everything. Um, my bed, like nothing too special. So now I have to do some paperwork and then I will have the consultation with my doctor, which I'm very excited about because I've been following his work on Instagram for the longest. So yeah, but still, I hope he gets me more uh, comfortable, whatever. So let's see. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, hello. As you can see, I'm already changed. I'm already, oh shit, you know. They did all the signing and stuff, and you have to do a lot of paperwork and stuff. So that took a very long time. I had the consultation with my doctor already. He was very nice and very kind, and he told me a lot of things. Hi. Hi. And I think I'm getting another shot, so I have to sit down. Good job, my nurse. <laughs> This thing keeps opening up. This is removing, no? It's, okay. Can you give me a new one? It's changing. Thank you. And uh, yeah, like I said, you have a lot of paperwork to do, a lot of things that they will inform you about, infection and stuff like that. And you have to take uh, blood results before you, um, and they taking blood from, what? I don't even know what I'm talking, I'm so confused. They taking blood and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going into surgery at 12. It's just 12 right now. So I think I'm gonna leave now and then I'll see you after surgery and everything is going good. I'm pretty positive. And yeah, they gave me these nice clothes. I have this blue thing on and I also have compression socks on. So I'm really excited to uh, kind of see my new body. But yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right?
Hello, people. I'm up. I've been up. I'm day one post up now. Um, and everything went well so far. The only thing that really bothered me yesterday was being cold. Yeah, I cannot imagine how fucking cold I was. I was shaking all over my body and then I had like, I think five blankets or something. The um, heater was on, on full effect, everything. But so far I'm good. Um, I didn't really see my body yet and I was not able to stand up. I tried to stand up earlier this morning, but I felt dizzy right away. So yeah, everything went well. They had to give me one blood transfusion because I lost so much blood, I guess. And I have like four, four drainage, um, two on each side. I don't know where exactly they are because I couldn't see them. And I'm since I'm not able to go to the toilet, they gave me this, um, how do you call it? I don't know how you, how you call it. It's like right there on the floor, as you can see. <clears throat> and yeah, um, and the next thing it was, I was so thirsty when I woke up, and he was not allowed to drink or eat anything. So they came and gave me water um, around 11 or 12 at night. And I left for surgery at 12 uh, p.m. and the surgery lasted until 8 p.m. So I got back to the room by 8.30. So it took like eight hours. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty positive. I looked down already, I looked it up a little bit and my stomach was flat so that was the main goal i'm really happy about it so let's see how the next couple days will be Hello there. Um, day two post up. I'm finally sitting. I can sit straight for now, but I'm sitting. Yesterday was the longest day ever in my life because they always come and force you to um, get up and walk and go to the toilet. They removed my catheter yesterday, so I had to go to the toilet and get up and walk. And it was so painful because they didn't give me painkillers yesterday. So I pretty much had to do everything by myself. Um, today, I had painkillers. They gave me painkillers this morning. And then I'm still having my two drainage. The other ones on the floor. Whoa! And I hope they're gonna remove it today because it's so uncomfortable with these drainage things, whatever. Um, yeah, normally they should, Oh, the doctor said they're gonna release me today from the hospital so I can go back to the hotel. I'm not sure about all that because I don't feel too good, honestly. So I wish or I hope that I can stay um, until tomorrow and then leave so that I can feel better. But so far, um, right now, uh, for now, I'm painless. I don't have any pain since they gave me the painkillers. I can stand up on my own, walk up on my own, everything fine. Good morning. I'm day four post up, and um, as you can see, I'm already walking straight. I'm walking slowly but straight because in the last couple days I was like kind of walking like Quasimodo, but now I'm walking straight. And I have a checkup today with my doctor, so they will pick me up by 12:30, and then I will go to his clinic and have my checkup. He will look at the at the scars and everything to make sure everything is all right. I have a little bit of cold since yesterday because, I don't know, it was probably the air conditioner. And yeah, but so far so good, I'm feeling good. The only thing that really bothers me is that I have to sleep in one position and because 
I normally sleep like on the side and now I have to lay on my back the whole time and it's so annoying and you can't really change your position. You can change your hair to one side to the other side and it's so annoying. But other than that, I'm totally good. They released me yesterday from the hospital. I'm back in the hotel, as you can see. They took out um, my drainage. I had four drainage, they took them out. And I can tell you, I, feel, I felt so much better once they took them out. Cause it was like so releasing when they like just put them out. I could walk better and stuff like that. So I had two here, as one on each side, and I had two on the vagina, <laughs> vagina area. And that's why I couldn't walk so good because it was like right there. So they took them out and after that I felt so much better. So now I just came back from breakfast. I'm about to go take a nap because everything is like really stressful if you do a huge short of breath and uh, everything you do is like too much. So you need to take a lot of rest after surgery. And that's what I'm gonna do, so see ya. Hello and good morning. I'm officially day five post up. I'm going to have breakfast right now. Um, I didn't film yesterday because I didn't do much yesterday. I tried to go out and walk for a while. That didn't go so well, because I cannot walk uh, for too long. Because I get really, really tired when I walk for too long. So, other than that, um, I'm feeling good so far. I will have my final checkup up with the doctor today at 2.30, because I'm flying out Oh, I'm flying back to Munich tomorrow. And yeah, I'm super excited. Um, still having issues with my Faha is like, he put some kind of glue on my skin. I don't know, it's so annoying. And everything hurts when I move. But other than that, I'm good. So I'm in my doctor's office and I have my last or final checkup before I go home tomorrow. Um, he had to remove all their plasters and everything that I had and was stretching out my garment and everything. And yeah, and I'm thinking, I'm seeing my before and after pictures now. So I'm really, really excited to see all that. Um, yeah. Oh. My final checkup today with the doctor um, he removed all the plasters and stuff and I was seen by before and after pictures and when I tell you this is crazy it is crazy now I'm I don't think I'm gonna put my before and after results on YouTube directly so if you want to see them you can always inbox me and ask me about it and then I can send it to you um, yeah but so far I'm so happy with the results because I was not expecting them to come out like this and yeah, they are. I have a flat stomach. I have perky tits right now. They're standing like a one. And I'm so happy with everyone that was taking care of me from the hotel to the hospital to the nurses to the doctor to the consultation with the people that I had at McCann. Everybody was there for me. And whenever you have a question or anything like that, you can always text them. Doesn't matter the time, they will always text you back. So I'm really, really, really happy about everything that I've done in the past couple of days. And I can definitely recommend um, McCann. If you need to go do plastic surgery or whatever, whatever, you can definitely go there. If you need the link, just ask me. I have Instagram, they have everything. I will send it to you. Um, yeah. I'm flying back to Munich tomorrow. I think I will leave the hotel about 12, 12, 15 something. And then I'm going back home. Although I was here and I had a good time. Of course, it, there's no place like home and I'm really happy to go back home. 
and then I will rest for another two weeks before I try to go back to work but I told them if I'm not coming then it's not possible for me to come back but yeah I'm going home and I can wait to see my mommy finally and everybody in the family and yeah to share my results with everyone I'll see you then